Welcome back everybody to another Transformers Theory. Today's is going to be covering what happened to Reedman in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, Reedman was one of Soundwave's many minions, and is the combined form taken by the Microcons, swarms of little robots that transformed into ball bearings. After Soundwave discovered the location of the Allspark Shard needed to resurrect Megatron, he deployed Ravage to the island of Diego Garcia where the Human Autobot Alliance nest was based. Ravage infiltrated the base's defenses and released the Microcons into the ventilation system of the chamber where the Allspark Shard was held. With their target in sight, the Microcons combined into Reedman and proceeded to steal the shard while tripping the alarm. Due to his razor-thin body, Reedman was able to hide in plain sight by lining himself up to the soldiers as they stormed in. Upon seeing the exit, he dashed out of the chamber by slicing through a soldier. Ravage would provide cover fire for Reedman as he made his way to him. And this would be the last shot of Reedman that we would ever see, since after this shot it cuts to Sam and Leo going to their frat party. Now, this abrupt cut leaves us with a lot of unanswered questions, such as how Scapple got his hands on the shard if it was last seen with Reedman, how Ravage got off of Diego Garcia and onto the Bayos Freightliner, along with what happened to Reedman. Well, what if I told you I found a long-lost deleted scene from the Revenge of the Fallen Special Features DVD that explained all of these answers. Uh, here's the dock bot at the bottom of it. And he finds the shard there. I hope it's clear that, that that's the same doctor bot that uh, basically examines Sam later in the movie. Now, if you want to see the entire scene, check out my second channel, Transformers Behind the Scenes, linked below. And with that shameless plug out of the way, it goes to show that these extra 26 seconds would have answered so many questions that we've been wondering for over 12 years now. But a key takeaway from this is that Reedman went back inside of Ravage, which means Reedman was taken to Egypt since Ravage appears there. The only issue with this is when Ravage died, we didn't see the Microcon spill out of him. Now, you could say that the Microcons could have been stored in an internal compartment when Ravage died, similar to Scapple in my What Happened to Scapple theory, but as I explained in that theory, Scapple's compartment for the most part was still intact when Ravage bit the dust. And we know for a fact that the Microcons do not share the same space as Scapel, since they would have spilled onto Megatron when the doors opened, which means that they must be stored in a different compartment within Ravage. And since there are literally thousands of them, it's safe to say that Ravage would have several compartments in him to store them. And it would be naive to think that none of those compartments busted when Ravage was pulled apart. So with that said, it would be impossible for Reedman to be inside of Ravage when he died meaning that he must have been deployed for a second time. And there's one other scene in Egypt that would make sense for Reedman to be deployed. That scene would be when the Decepticons were looking for Sam. While Megatron was ordering his troops to advance on the Autobots and Nest, Starscream, under the orders of Megatron as well, was tasked with preventing Sam from reaching Prime's body. Under his command, he had Rampage, the Constructicon clones, several protoforms, a single Insecticon, and most notably Ravage. Since securing Sam was a key priority, Starscream needed all hands on deck. So I think it's safe to say that Reedman was likely deployed as well as Scapple to help find Sam. And due to his unique body structure, he would be able to search in places most bots can't. Now, as for what happened to him after the manhunt, he likely regrouped with Starscream's unit of Decepticons when they pushed an assault on the Autobots and a Nest. But I don't believe that he would be one of the few lucky ones to survive. Since though his thin body is useful to hide in plain sight, it's overall terrible armor, and one direct explosion could easily do some serious damage to him. I believe once the airstrike came down, Reedman's fate was sealed. Now, on a side note with Scapple, in my earlier theory about him, I said that he was inside of a compartment when Ravage got killed. But this theory adds the fact that he helped out in the manhunt, which would mean that Scapple would have to regroup with Ravage before Bumblebee killed him. But it wouldn't make sense for Ravage to only take Scapel and not Reedman. So I think it's more reasonable to say that he didn't regroup with Ravage since he was too busy searching for Sam. On top of that, Ravage left with Rampage to secure the Matrix. So Scapel wouldn't even be able to join Ravage since he left the area. 
I also think that Scapple wouldn't join Reedman and the other cons to face the Autobots head on, with him choosing to stay behind in the Egyptian town since he knew he wasn't a fighter. Either way, that Scapple theory still works with this alternate take since both explain how we got to Egypt. And just like that, that was what happened to Reedman. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. Thanks to you guys, Trans Theories is where it is today, so thank you. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like rating because it does help the channel a lot. With that said, keep on theorizing.